But the thing I have over here, ginger, garlic, onion, and spring onions, which are finely chopped. Okay, once this is fried, I'm going to add carrots and green peppers. for 5 minutes until it is a little soft and I am also going to add salt just to bring up the moisture and the last of the vegetables will be half a cabbage Okay, now for the seasoning, before I add the chicken, <coughs> yes, I have a bit of mixed herbs, a little bit of chili flakes, and a bit of garam masala. And finally, the chicken. Okay, I am going to add a bit of sugar just to balance everything out, just a little bit. And then finally with the sauces. For the sauce here I have oyster sauce. I thought I would add a uh, what's I think black pepper, but I don't need to. There's a little bit of tomato sauce. Just a bit of Szechuan sauce. Okay, that is perfect. I don't need anything else. I will add cheese later, but the salt is perfect. Okay, so let's add the last thing, which is a bit of spinach. Okay, that is, this is the filling done. I am going to cool this off and then start with the stuffing. Okay, so my filling is done. I am going to <coughs> let it cool down. Then I am going to add some cheese and stuff it. And I will bring guys when I am doing that. Buns. I don't know if I'm gonna make buns or something similar to that. Shape my dipper, but my dough has risen two times now. <coughs> this is a wheat flour dough. There is no material flour, but I have used majorly wheat flour. So I'm going to roll it a little bit thinner, then because it will be tough. Then I would do normal all purpose flour. And over here, I, have, I hope you guys can see, over here I have the filling. I've already mixed the cheese along with it because the cheese also needs, needed to be defrosted. So the filling, I also added a bit of chili flakes because I needed a bit more spice in it. Okay, I'm only showing you one more piece because it's rinse a little bit. Uh, I don't want to waste your time. So, 
I am going to keep doing that. Fill. Oh, this is what I came up with. Here are six. Whatever you can call it, and there's also six, but this one is the largest one, and these are the off cuts that I made. Now I will cover this up, let it rise for about 20 minutes to half an hour, probably 20 minutes, and then I will give it a egg wash and then put it in the oven. For which I will bring you guys back, but I'm just showing what I did update. And I will see you guys once these are ready to be uh, egg washed and then put in the oven. Bye. Okay, these are rested. I'm just going to do a quick egg wash. I'm using a whole egg, not any ingredients and put them in the oven for 20 minutes at 180 so a quick wash and on top of that this is optional but i like it so just a few sesame seeds on top and this will now go to the oven at 180 for 20 minutes. Let's go, let's see if I can do it. As you can see the temp temperature is at 180. It's been preheating. Convection. Let's hope it stays. <coughs> so 180, 20 minutes. 180, 20 minutes. Let it do its thing, then I will do the same thing, egg wash with sesame seeds and put these in the oven also. Okay? And then we will see how it turns out. And I will catch you guys once all of them are done and all of them are ready because I don't want to bowl with the same steps <coughs> two times. So I will catch you guys once everything is done. Bye. And I have it all ready now. I'm just letting it cool down. I hope you guys like this video. <laughs> Please make sure to hit the like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and if you have any ideas any suggestions please do feel free to send them my way i will catch you guys in the next one bye <laughs>